What's up guys, Cheap Beast, aka Noah, back today bringing another video. This time we're doing the September sneaker releases. September's a great month for other reasons, not sneaker releases. Obviously, football's coming back finally. Wore the jersey today um, for that reason. But the sneaker releases, from what I could see so far this month, uh, or next month, uh, there's nothing too crazy. There's a few sneakers that are right, but nothing like super hype like Travis Scott's or anything like that. I and mean, there are some stuff if you want to pick up for personal, um, then that's not bad. But um, let's just get right into the sneakers. So the first sneaker we have is on the second. It's the Nike Dunk Low Georgetown. It's going to retail for $100. Um, another Dunk Low coming out, a different colorway. This one's for the Georgetown University. Um, so it's navy and gray there's a bunch of georgetown other sneakers and other colorways or other silhouettes um this one's finally on the dunk low so it's a good colorway um dunk low it's going to sell out but uh, other than that not too much to say then on the third we have the nike lebron 18 low uh stewie that's going to retail for 160 dollars um it's actually a uh, PE colorway from 2009 if you guys don't know it's based off Stewie Griffin from Family Guy um, So it's got like cartoony little um, stuff on it, which I think is actually pretty cool I think the sneaker looks pretty cool um, if you want it for basketball definitely a cool one to pick up 160 is not too bad either um, There's definitely more expensive sneakers out there, but I think it looks pretty cool if it was on different uh, silhouette it might be all right, but um LeBron 18 low, nothing too crazy, but I think colorway is kind of cool. Then also on the third, we have the Jordan Force Shimmer. Uh, it's going to retail for $109. It's actually a women's release. Um, very similar to the Off-White Jordan 4 that released last year. Um, kind of the same colorway, maybe a little darker. It's like a tan, like uh, nude colorway. Um, but it's also a women's release, so again, they're just pushing this colorway onto women, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, it's a good colorway, um, $109, not terrible. It's obviously a Jordan 4. Um, if you couldn't get the off-white Jordan 4s, I think this would be a pretty decent one to pick up. Then next day on the 4th, we have the Jordan 6 Bordeaux. It's going to release for $109. Not crazy colorway. It's going to be like full family sizing. Um, if you really like the colorway or the Jordan 6, then it's a decent one. It's mostly black and gray with some Bordeaux, so like a wine color basically on the ton and the heel, which I think looks all right. The color is kind of cool, but I'm not a big fan of the Jordan 6, so um, just a decent one to pick up, I guess. Jumping to the 7th, we have the Nike Dunk Low University Red. It's going to retail for $100. Again, um, Dunk Low. I actually really like this colorway. It'll go perfect with an Ohio State jersey, hopefully. I think I'm probably going to try to pick this one up, so we'll see if I actually get it. Um, but it's just University Red and White, and then it's also available in some grade school sizing too. So I think it's pretty cool. Probably one of the better Dunk Lows that I like. I mean, I've been looking for something red. I'd have the Jordan 1 Lows, but um, I don't have any Dunk. So maybe this one I'll try to pick up. Then on the 8th, we have the Fragment Sakai Nike LD Waffle in the gray colorway. Um, it's going to retail for $170. The blue, navy, whatever colorway released last month. Um, and this one actually got delayed a little bit. But it is a collab with Fragment Sakai on the LD Waffles. So it has like some Fragment stuff on it and also the Sakai like LD Waffle. So it's got that like double sneaker to it. Um, like I said, the blue colorway did release. I think the blue colorway is a little bit better, but some people really like the gray. Um, probably one of the best sneakers of the month because there's not a ton of crazy stuff. Um, so definitely one to look out for. Then on the next day, on the 9th, we have the Billie Eilish Jordan 1 KO. Um, it's going to retail for probably $140. This one didn't actually have a price yet, but it's actually collab with Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish is a singer, musician, whatever. Um, it's basically just all neon green. Um, so there was a Nike or Jordan 1 KO uh, the Chicago colorway that released a few months ago. Um, this is actually going to be the second one to be released. It's a Billie Eilish one. Um, not terrible if you're into the neon green or Billie Eilish. Definitely a cool one to pick up, but um, nothing too crazy. Then on the 10th, we have two sneakers. We have the Jordan 1 High uh, Prototype. It's going to retail for $170. This is a women's release. It kind of looks like it's kind of inspired by like a union or something. So it's got multicolor on it. It's like got gray. And then on the ankle, it's like a little blue, I think. Uh, and then there's like a perforated line, which it looks like you could be able to cut it. I don't think you're going to be cutting your sneaker, but it, that is something what it looks like. So kind of like um, the Union, but instead of the like stitching, it's got like perforated line. So kind of cool, um, but nothing too crazy. It's probably going to sell because it's a Jordan 1, but I don't think it'll uh, go for too much. Then also on the 10th, we have the Joe Fresh Goods New Balance 990 V3 Outside Clothes. It's going to retail for $220. So one of the more expensive sneakers that's actually um, releasing this month. But it was inspired by Joe Fresh Goods childhood and um, spending a lot of time outside. That's why it's called Outside Clothes. Um, I guess 
throughout the past year. He's been reminiscing about being outside, being as a kid. Um, so the brown on it's supposed to actually match the dirt, and the blue is to match the sky. I think it looks all right. Color is a little clash for me, um, and it's on the 990v3, so not my favorite New Balance silhouette. Um, but I definitely think it's pretty good, and I feel like the Joe Fresh goods um, always do pretty well, and people really like them. So um, definitely one to look out for. And then on the 11th, we have just a basic Jordan. It's the Jordan 5 Oreo. It's uh, going to retail for $109. This one's like going to be in full family sizing, so all the way to adult to like toddler, I think even. Um, it's the eight-year anniversary of this colorway, as far from what I could tell. And it's mostly just black suede with white on the midsole and the sock liner. I think it looks all right. Um, nothing too crazy. Like it's just black and white. Um, if you're into the Jordan Fives, cool one pickup. Definitely one that you can wear all the time. Then we're jumping a week later to the 18th from one that was actually delayed from last month. It's the Jordan 13 Obsidian. It's going to retail retail for $190. Um, it's basically a UNC uh, inspired kind of colorway. So it's got that like dark um, blue on it and then it's got a little bit of the Carolina blue, but mostly white. So it's a little different where most of it's been Carolina blue. Um, this one's mostly white. So pretty decent. Not a big fan of the Jordan 13, but another good one. So and then on the 25th, we have maybe one of like the more unique uh, shoes coming out. This one's probably the most hyped up just because of the name, but it is an off-white Jordan 2 low in black. I don't know the retail for it, but it's going to be the first collab, I'm pretty sure, on the Jordan 2 for Off-Way and Jordan. Um, it's mostly black on this one with a little bit of blue. And then it's also made to look worn. So on the sole, it actually looks like it's cracked and has a bunch of, like, just looks like it's been worn. Uh, the white colorway of this, I don't know when that's releasing, but you can tell a little better. And it's, like, made to look like it's been worn a ton. And then it also features the Jordan signature on the side. I don't really like it. I think a lot of people aren't big fans of the Jordan 2. And then it's a low too, so it's not even like a Jordan 2 high. Um, so anyone who really loves Jordan and wants like a hype collab, or the Jordan 2 and wants a hype collab, this would be a cool one to pick up. I think the white colorway is a little better. Um, but I don't think this one's going to sell out a ton. I think this is one not one of the best collabs on Jordans for off-weight. Um, but if you're into look, it's something kind of cool, something a little different, especially for off-weight. Um, but nothing too crazy, I don't think. And then the last confirmed sneaker is on the 29th. It's a Jordan 1 KO in the Storm Blue. Um, it's going to retail for $140. Like I said earlier with the Billie Eilish one, this one's actually like the second like non-collab one to release or like a more generic colorway. The first one was the Chicago. And it seems like there's going to be more uh, Jordan 1 KOs because the Chicago did pretty well. Um, but this is in the Storm Blue colorway, so mostly blue and black uh, and white. I think it looks pretty cool. And I said in the last time I talked about Jordan 1 KO, in whatever month the Chicago released that it was basically a mid which I found out it's not really true um, it's more of like a different sneaker different silhouette really like it's still a Jordan 1 but a little different it's made out of a different material which I think it's like canvasy um, you can definitely check out a review of the Chicago but um, the Storm Blues probably I like it more than the Chicago just because I like the blue better but um, it's Jordan KO and it shouldn't resell for a ton then we have three sneakers that aren't confirmed have a confirmed day yet but supposedly coming out um, September it is the Nike Dunk Low Gray Fog. It's going to retail for $100. This is a women's release. It's basically just another simple dunk with uh, light gray and white. So pretty basic colors. I think it looks all right, but nothing too crazy. And then another one that's not confirmed is the Nike SB Dunk Low Unbleached Pack. Um, it's going to retail for, uh, I think, $100. It might be $110. Um, this is supposed to be for the orange label, which is exclusive to skate shops. So I think it's pretty cool. This one's actually purple. I don't know if they're going to do more in this pack, um, but this one is dyed purple and it's like soft leather and canvas. So it's made, um, I think it's made to be undyed or unbleached. So it's a little different um, and it's got a little different look and you can tell on like the purple is not like fully purple. So you can tell it's a little different. I think it looks pretty cool. It might be one of the better sneakers of the month um, just because it's different um, for uh, like than the rest of the dunks that come out. Um, but it might be pretty hard to get since it's like that orange label and exclusive to sneaker stores And then the last one is actually the only easy that I'm going to talk about. It's the easy 350 v2 in the MX rock um, It's going to retail for obviously $220 like all Yeezys do and it's very similar if you guys have seen the foam runner in the MX moon gray It's kind of got like the same like patterning on it 
um, but this one has like a darker base. I don't know if it's blue or black. The pictures make it look like it's kind of blue, but I also read that it might be black. So um, it's kind of cool. It's a little different for easy. It's not like a generic, just like slap a like neutral color on it and then just sell it. So um, they have done a little, a few things differently with the light one that just came out. And then with this one having that different pattern. So I think it's all right, but again, it's just easy. And if you want to try to pick it up, definitely go for it. So that's everything that's coming out in September. Again, the month isn't too crazy. There's not a ton of um, like insane stuff coming out. There's nothing like Travis Scott hype level, um, but there are some good stuff and definitely something that if you guys want to pick up, you'll probably have much better chances of picking this stuff up because it won't resell for a ton, but um, obviously everything's going to sell it because that's just how it works nowadays. But, but let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite sneaker of the month is because there's some decent ones, but nothing too crazy. And also we are only about like 22 subscribers away from 500. I'm going to do a giveaway at 500. Um, so make sure to hit subscribe and then we'll be closer to 500. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.